Hi everyone, it's Nicole and this is the second video on December 1st because I figured I would do my last prep video and then now we're going to start every day and the way that I'm going to do because while I did this page I didn't have all my pictures taken but I want to stay on track. I want to make sure that I make a page every day and I don't fall behind and on December 31st I'm completed. I've done if I decide to go to December 31st I will have completed all my December daily before January 1st. I want to make sure that I finish this project before the beginning of the year. Now, one thing I have to remember, this is still design A. This is going to be the back side of the cover page that you just watched before this. Oh, and another thing is you'll see these with the pictures on because what I'm going to do is at the end of the day, I'll print the pictures that I've taken that day. And then on the second day, so let's say December 2nd, I'm going to, before I start doing the page for December 2nd, I'm going to add the pictures on December from the day, the previous day. So tomorrow on December 2nd, before I start December 2nd, I'm going to put all the pictures on the December 1st layout, if that makes any sense. And then we'll get started with December 2nd. I'm going to try to have a video every single day in December for December daily. But if something happens, I do have quite a few shifts this month and if I can't get the video ready, well then one day I might have two videos. Let's say on Tuesday I work and if tomorrow I can't do December 2nd and 3rd, then on the 4th I'll make sure to try to catch up. Another thing I do when I start these pages, I decide on a color theme. So my first one, it was pinks and reds. That was my cover page and I went with that. And this one, I went with teals or dark green and some light green. Another thing I decided to do, which I haven't done in the past, is to make little photo mats for all my pictures. Now, again, I don't know which pictures I'm going to use. so. I'm just going by, okay, this is a three by four. I'll be able to fit a photo that's about two and a quarter by two and a quarter or two by two. And I'm making the mats so that once my pictures are printed, I just need to put them on the mat. So once I choose the color that I want to use for that specific layout, I go into my stash of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. I'm really trying to go through my cardstock and use what I have and in this case I went and grabbed a deep uh, turquoise deep green and some white cardstock now you see this little envelope where uh, I'm taking out the embellishments a lot of the embellishments that I'm using on day one is some embellishments that I made during my document December class and that class is available right now for 50% off until tomorrow. Today, December 1st is the last day that it's on for 50% off and there's close to 50 videos including making your own embellishments for your December daily. Now the only thing I prepped for my December daily, you can go back on my channel and you can find my you know December daily prep video. I basically just made sure that I had a ton of embellishments for Christmas and then I had um, grabbed a whole bunch of six by six pattern papers because I love cutting them down to four by six, which you can use as a four by six card, or you can take that four by six and cut it in two and then you end up with two three by four. And then you still have a strip that's about two by six and you can use it on top of other cards as far as, um, you know, either matting some photos or just adding a little bit of interest to a specific card. 
So now when you're doing your December dailies, and I have to say December daily is something that Allie Edwards came out with quite a few years ago, and she has made this very popular, and I love doing a December daily every, you know, every year. I find as scrapbookers, we tend to scrap a lot of events. So if, you know, as, as little as, you know, if you go to a soccer game or a hockey game or you go camping or you go on vacation or a birthday or, you know, Christmas or Thanksgiving, but the daily stuff, you know, it's not really something that we scrap a lot about. So once a year, I know that from December 1st to, you know, some years I go till December 31st, other years I stop at December 26th. This year, I think I'm going to go till the 31st because Mason has a hockey tournament on December 27th, 28th, 29th, and it's a pretty special tournament. So I want to make sure that it is documented in our daily month for you know, for 2019. But all that to say is that, you know, a lot of times in our albums, we don't document the daily stuff unless you're doing Project Life, which I did try a few years ago and I got quite far. I think I got to week close to 30. So I, I only had like, you know, I went more than half halfway through. And then it just kind of fell on the wayside and I didn't finish it. But this is my way of at least once a year, I know that an entire month is documented. So things like, you know, today I made some spaghetti sauce, you know, making spaghetti sauce and we're getting our Christmas tree today. And um, we went to hockey this morning. I took a picture of, you know, what time we had to leave uh, to go to hockey for Mason. So it's so much fun to have this that I know that every year that I'm going to document a whole month. And while I was filming this, I'm like, why don't you just do it one other time a year? Like how about in the summertime? Because summer is super busy. So that's just something that just popped into my head as I was doing this. So maybe this summer I'll pick, let's say the month of July and I'll try to document a whole month of July. And then it'll be fun to kind of see, you know, what occupies our month versus, you know, summer and versus in the middle of winter. But to get back to this specific spread, um, the very top card, I just cut it down. There was sort of a little crest-like piece, right, design, right on the card. And I thought it was my perfect spot to put my number one. And this year, I found these stickers. I don't even know where they came from, but they're just gold. And, you know, it goes from one to 31. They probably won't pop very much on the layout as far as on the camera, but in real life, they do, you're able to see them. Then I knew that we were getting our tree today. So I found this little car, a uh, card with a car on it with the Christmas tree. And then a lot of these embellishments that you see right there to the right. This is part of the embellishments that I did during the document December class, um, you know, making your own embellishments. I thought I was all done. And then I realized, hey, you didn't put any uh, enamel dots on any of these cards. So I went into my stash and grabbed some enamel dots. And now I'm just putting some enamel dots. I love the fact that I've incorporated this time, adding some little photo mats. So even though I don't have photos yet on my layout, I can tell exactly where I'm going to put the, the photos on the layout and then my entire layout, you know, as far as the four by six and the three by four is all done. So I just got to take them out of their sleeve, slap on the photos and my day one will be done. So stay tuned. Tomorrow, December 2nd, we'll be adding photos to this and we'll be making December 2nd. So I'm so excited to get, you know, to keep going with this project. And I'm glad that, you know, today's December 1st and I got the first page done. 
and let me know in the comments down below if you plan on doing December daily this year and you know how you go about doing it. Do you wait a few days and then print all your photos and then do quite a few days uh, at a time or do you get them ready ahead of time? So that's it. That's going to complete this day one and I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.